Hola, hoy vamos a hablar acerca de cinco verbos que significan cosas diferentes en el imperfecto y el pretérito. Hay un grupo de verbos que significan cosas diferentes, o sea, they mean different things whether or not you put them in the preterite versus the imperfect. Estos verbos son haber, conocer, querer, saber y poder. En el imperfecto tienen su significado normal. Haber significa there was, there were, just like I in the present means there is, there are. Conocer significa knew or was familiar with people and places. Querer significa wanted or loved. Saber significa new facts or information. En poder significa could or was able. Voy a hablar brevemente acerca de haber porque hay algo muy importante. Haber siempre usa esta conjugación, o sea, haber only has this one form and that is había. So if I want to say there was no bathtub, no había una bañera. That seems obvious, but look at this one. Here I'm saying there were not a lot of dogs. It does not matter that I'm talking about a plural item. We're still going to use había. Había is always había. There are no exceptions. Just like if I say there is a table, hay una mesa, or there are 12 students, hay 12 estudiantes. Bien, continuamos. Había muchos libros. So again, it does not matter if you're talking about there being one thing or there being multiple things. You're only going to use había. Bien, continuamos. A ver, conocer means knew someone was familiar with. So these are very common uses of conocer. Bien, querer, wanted or loved. So we might say, I wanted to be a doctor, quería ser médica, or the children loved their dog. Saber es para facts or information. Often we will use que. So sabíamos que hacía frío. We knew that it was cold out. This is a fact or information, so we're using saber and not conocer. Or this one, los niños sabían leer. Note that in English, we will say they knew how, but in Spanish, we just cut to the chase and go right to the infinitive. Bien, poder, was able to do something. So, el niño no podía tomar leche. The child or the boy could not drink milk. Mis padres podían hablar francés. Bien, ok, ahora las cosas interesantes. En el pretérito, estos verbos significan cosas diferentes. Haber, por ejemplo, significa there occurred or there happened. Conocer significa met. Generally speaking, that's people. Querer is either tried to do something or refused to do something. Note that we're using blue because the verb form after this is going to be infinitive. Saber, learned facts or information. And then poder is succeeded in doing something or failed to do something. In both cases, we will use the infinitive. So let's see some examples. Hubo is the only form of haber that we will use, just like había is the only form of haber we use the imperfect. So hubo is a regular. But it means there occurred, there took place. It can talk about something happening. And it is an action, which is why we're using the preterite. Just like había, it only has this one form. So even if we want to say, ayer hubo tres accidentes, there occurred three accidents, it's still going to be hubo singular. Bien, hubo un concierto. There occurred, there happened, a concert. And... El verano pasado hubo varios huracanes. 
a lot of、uh, various hurricanes happened. Bien, continuamos. Conocer es I met someone. And again, it is an action, so it's preterite. So, ayer conocí al señor Pérez. I met Mr. Pérez. Or, did you meet Juan last night? This is did you all. Querer, saber y poder son verbos irregulares. Entonces, they are all regular, but at least they are all irregular in the same way. They have irregular stems and they share the same set of endings. So, for example, querer, the stem is quis. And therefore, every single form of querer will start with quis. Saber, the stem is sup. And so every conjugation will start with the letters s u p. Poder is pud. And therefore, every single conjugation will start with pud. All of these verbs have the same set of endings, which is e, iste, o, imos, isteis, yeron. Note, there are no accents here. So, Let's start applying these endings. So, if I want to say, I tried to do something, quise, you tried, quisiste, he, she, it, senor, they tried, quiso, we tried, quisimos, y'all tried, quisisteis, they tried, quisieron. We're going to take these same endings and apply them to saber. I learned, supe, you learned, supiste. He, she, it, singular, they, supo. We learned, supimos. Y'all learned, supisteis. They learned, supieron. Poder, I succeeded. Pude, you succeeded in doing something. Pudiste. He, she, it, singular, they, pudo. We, pudimos. Y'all, pudisteis. Ellos, pudieron. Okay. Now let's start talking about how we use them. Querer es un poco difícil porque tiene dos significados. Tiene, tried, which is quise o refused, where we use a no. So if we want to say they tried to do the homework, quisieron hacer. Please note that we use the infinitive after querer. Quisieron hacer la tarea. They tried to do the homework. Now, if we have some rebellious students and they refuse to do the homework, that's where we're going to use the no for no quisieron. No quisieron hacer la tarea. They refused to do the homework. So, querer is either tried or when you add the no, it means refused. Saber is a little less complicated and all it means is learned. So, ayer supe que un delfín no es un pez. Once again, we have que when we want to communicate the idea of that. Yesterday, I learned that a dolphin is not a fish, it's a mammal. Ellos supieron mucha información el año pasado. They learned a lot of information last year. Bien. Poder. Poder significa o succeeded in doing something. We're going to use the infinitive or failed with no, no pude to do something. Please note in both cases we're using the infinitive after poder. Now, if you look at English, you'll say they succeeded in finishing. This in English is not an infinitive. Spanish does not give a flying squirrel. In Spanish, after poder, we must use the infinitive, so we're going to say pudieron terminar la tarea. They succeeded in finishing. Pudieron terminar. Bien. If we all want to say you failed or y'all failed, no pudisteis. We put no to convey the idea of failing. No pudisteis completar el proyecto a tiempo. Bien. Vamos a repasar. So, haber in the imperfect, there was, there were. In the preterite, something occurred, something happened. Conocer in the imperfect, knew or was familiar with. 
In el pretérito, it means met. Querer, wanted or loved. In the preterite, quise, I tried to do something. O, refused, no quise. Saber, I knew facts, I knew information. In the preterite, it's an action, I mean, and it means learned. Poder, was able or could do something. In the preterite, succeeded in doing something or failed. Muy bien. Entonces, en el resto del video, tenemos ejercicios de práctica. So the rest of the video is practice exercises. I would suggest you go through each one, pause the video, write down your responses, and then hit play to see if you got things correct. Muy bien. Vamos a practicar. Remember, pause the video, write down your responses. To make this quick, you may write down only the verb, and then hit play to check your responses. Okay, when I arrived home, there was. There is no action here. There is describing. This is había. There was a problem. It occurred. Hubo. Last night, there was a dance. Also, hubo. There were many towels. This is description. No action is taking place. Había. When the teacher started class, there were seven students. Había. Bien. Same thing with conocer. Pause the video, write down the sentences, or write down only the verb, and then hit play when you're ready to check your responses. Muy bien. When we're knowing people in the past, that's imperfect. Last night they met. Preterite. When did he meet? Again, preterite. When they were children, they were familiar with. Conocían. Many years ago, we met. Conocimos. Bien. Same thing here. Pause the video and write down the sentence or at least the verb. My parents refused. No quisieron permitir. Okay. Yesterday, I tried to eat. Quise comer. Last night, the students wanted, querían relajarse. Miguel loved his cat, quería. The teacher refused to speak, no quiso hablar, because he wanted the students, quería. And don't worry about that last bit. That's some Spanish three grammar in there. Bien, saber. Go ahead, pause, and write down your responses. Muy bien. En la escuela, supimos. Last year, we already knew. Ya sabíamos. When I entered the classroom, I didn't know. No sabía. Yesterday, you learned. Supiste. I knew that Jorge was sick, but this morning I learned. Sabía que Jorge estaba enfermo, pero esta mañana supe. Bien, poder. Go ahead and pause and write down the verbs. Muy bien. Last spring we were able. Podíamos. María succeeded in winning. María pudo ganar. Note again, after pudo we're using the infinitive, even though English has it as a gerund. The children weren't able. No podían. Jorge failed to turn in. No pudo. Five years ago, we could play sports. Podíamos jugar. Y eso es todo. I hope this video was helpful. Hasta luego.